always used to talk a lot about cutting metal when we were looking at new aeroplanes. But these days I wonder, should I be talking about cutting plastic? Well, somebody who I know would not like me to be doing that is Brian Mercer. Brian, tell me about your business and the metals in aerospace. Okay. Our, our business is uh, called Specialty Metal Products. We're part of the Amatech organization, six companies covering um, powders, uh, tubes and strips, and those are in titanium, nickel alloys and stainless steel. And, and the whole range of those products is, has a spectrum of applications across the aerospace industry. So as you see more composites coming in to the industry, more aircraft uh, uh, look, are looking away from metal, um, where do you see a future? For us it's an opportunity more than a challenge. I mean the, the reality is that aircraft and aircraft engines are becoming lighter and more efficient. Uh, engines becoming more efficient means hotter. Uh, and hotter at some point is always going to mean a specialised high temperature metal, quite quite often a nickel alloy. And, and on the, on the airframe side, where they still have hydraulic systems, there's always the discussion about fly-by-wire, but the reality is that uh, there's always going to be hydraulic systems where metals provide the assurance and backup quality you need. And in that sense, titanium and the discussion there is always about weight, strength to weight, and saving weight on the aircraft is, is a material that's here for the future. So it is still a very, very much a strong solution to have. Um, R&D then, where are you going with that in terms of technology and manufacturing, but also materials then? R&D for us is looking at, uh, primarily focused on titanium alloys, uh, and we, we go across the spectrum of our products. If you look at the tubular products, we're looking at how do we save weight, um, either in the aircraft systems, on the actuation systems, uh, or in the engines indeed, and, and typically there we're looking at current generation alloys, how do we make them thinner and stronger, or how do we actually evolve the alloy so we have a new alloy in itself which can provide weight savings combined with mechanical strength. On the powder side, uh, we have powders that are used for additive manufacturing, water atomized powders, and of course the discussion there is about how do we participate in the discussion about standardizing the technology associated with powders and additive manufacturing going forward. Brian, thank you very much. Thank you.